Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is John, and it's another beautifully calm, sunny day here in Florida. And we're headed off to shore to do some American red snapper fishing. Fishing with us today, we have my buddy Mac. We also have Adam and our friend Laurel, the FW researcher you saw from one of our previous videos. Stay tuned for plenty of live action, some good laughs, and some really nice fish. We started the day a little bit north of where we normally go to try and find some new ground that may not have as many sharks around as last time. It was a little bit of a slow start, but we managed to find a nice haul of red snapper, so stay tuned for the live action. I'm giving Matt crap for not having his rod ready, and I had one without a hook or anything. Is that a jig or is that on a... Uh, three quarters of a squid. Center hook. On the bottom, ignore the vermilion bites and wait for the rod to bend. Come on a little bit. Oh, yeah, probably. Well, then, uh, you still Well, he shook a little bit on the way up, so actually, I think he's not A little bit of color. I think it's ours. No, no, no. Looks. Yeah, That's like an ice grouper. Yeah. Jeez. Golly. Look at him. Dude, that's a fire truck grouper. Damn it. Better get the descender hooked up. I don't think I have the descender hooked up. He's got baby crabs in his back, That's <laughs> cool. Yeah, he does. A bunch of them. It's like a whole family of baby crabs. Poor guy. Show me how it's going. Like that That's pretty good. Two pound weight? Three. Set to 50. Is it like a pneumatic type deal where once it sees. I don't know. It's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my mechanic brain, just wants to know how everything works. Alright, now you get to reel it up. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do I know it's done? It's done. Oh, really? It's that quick? Yep. Spot number two, we are how deep are we? 127 feet. Showing, showing a little bit better on there, but Laurel just pulled up another lane snapper. We moved a couple of miles from where we were. That could be. What? What size leader do you have on there? Forty. Uh, this one actually might be... That looks smaller than 40. It looks... Yeah. This is 40. Oh, you're in a big hole. Yeah. I was going to limit us out on lane snappers yes. today. 100 pounds. <laughs> I think it's a 10. Or 10. I think it's only... I think it's 10 per person, isn't it? It's, it's been a while. We can look it up on fish rules. Huh? Thank God you have that. No, yeah. Spot number three doesn't look as good, but we'll see what happens. You ever have those spots where it's like almost Very nothing little. and then you just get like the most yeah. fish out of it? Oh, there's something disturbing the water right there. Yeah, but there was something like a sh shark or something. I saw it. I saw it. Almost like a dolphin going, but it wasn't. Oh no! I missed them. Oh, don't use that word. Not on camera. I think I got stolen. I think I did too. I had a couple of decent bites. 
ripped it right off. Oh. <laughs> Tried that. If I have you or you have me, I'm just gonna cut. You, you can just cut my rig. I'm a little occupied. Throw mine up because I think I might be tangled on you. I'm just not sure. Oh, I think he just rocked the what? Oh, never mind. I didn't have you. Oh, okay. I got rigged for everything. This may be a shark. Could you put it down? It's either a grouper in a hole. Play the fiddle. It's a big fish. Might want to grab the net. I'll get the net. It's a thirty. Ah! Five. <laughs> Say that. Now it went in a hole, so most likely grouper. Still fighting though. Maybe he was a thigh curious red <laughs> Could be. It identifies. Snapper. Oh, he went here. Snapper? Oh, that's a stud, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <a> nice. <laughs> that's the one we wanted. Yes, On the dude. spinner, too. Dude, he went in the rock and all. There must be a, there Dude, must be some unless guy. he was just pulling like a damn fiend. Well, there could have been some kind of shit. Woo! Up in the rock. That's a big one, man. That's a real one. That's the real one. Well, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sit him back that way. Oh god. Oh yeah, well, I was kind of nice bigger than that, you know, five minutes ago. Did you lose him? Oh, you got him? No, I'm just making struggling noises because my shoulder hurts. <laughs> Get him. Might need a picture of that one, Mac. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Dude, you're going to get rocked by a giant. He's 12 pounds. Yeah. That was a leader brace, like 10 feet. Dang. He could have swam sideways. <laughs> and we just lost two, right? You lose yours too, Adam? Uh, hmm. We know there's grunts and lanes down there. Yeah, five hundred dollars for one of those. Though. <laughs> and they, they, these aren't waterproof in the cases. I have a waterproof case at the house, but they. Uh, I've been meaning to do it. Just a really big. Yeah. Uh, hey, a shark would have been. 
pulling more drag. Yeah, running away, cutting. Sure. <laughs> it felt like a shark. Yeah, did it? Yeah. He yeah. wasn't moving. It was probably a really big fucking shark. Big cut the line. Oh, I have a seal on one of these. I don't really want to catch a shark on this. Oh, it didn't cut the line. Pulled it. Alright. It could have been big. Big something. <laughs> you got mackerel. It looks to be a red grouper. Boom. Just keep them in the water and they put them both down on the sender at the same time. I think this is a lane. Is it? Yeah. Are you the oh, fish, fish predictor? I've been known. <laughs> I've been known to predict. Um, uh, mango. Looks like a, yeah, nice mang. Do we have a mang in the box already? Yeah, I put one yeah. in there. That's a good one. I'm the mang guy today. Nice. Nice. You see that? Turn around. Nice one. He's flared. Yeah. That's about the size of the one that bit my finger. Ooh. Look at this one. We're barely hooked. Yeah. Stop number 15. <laughs> I've got two red snappers so far. Can't get away from the red grouper. Been shark. How many times have been shark? Four times? I think it's something new. One <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen it. Didn't get any of the rigs back. They must have heard they were out of season. Yeah, yeah. They got the memo. Unfortunate. Unfortunate event. Yeah. Spear him is up there to beat the gang. That's gross. <laughs> 
Out of season, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a keeper. That's a good trigger. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It would have been legal. Look how loaded up he is. Not anymore. On this big one doesn't doesn't do anything. But if you do this little this little one, it's like a trigger. It's a little dorsal fin down. And he's got really gnarly teeth, so yeah, don't just, just, yeah, just, be, just be careful. Sorry about that, guys. The camera overheated. Plus, we were having mic issues. I won the race, by the way, man. not see. You did. Yeah. Totally did. Yeah, that's all right. Was I just squid? Every race needs a winner. I actually put a full squid and a full thready on the same boat. <laughs> and he fucking chopped it. Day's haul. Laura wanted to keep all these little ones. I blame him. Lanes, lanes are good. Come on, guys. <laughs> the biggest snapper of the day. I think it was this one, wasn't it? It's like 12, uh, yeah. 12 pounds.
have bug spray if you want it. I got some in the truck. I, I, usually that's, I mean, I'm good with the pants and stuff. I have a lot of no things on my legs right now. I might go grab it. You might want to go grab it. I wear the pants for the sun. And then when you're back here, kind of nice too. Are you putting the other cargoes in yeah, the pocket? Oh yeah, throw them in the cart. Okay. Think about these guys, freaking scales are big. slab of meat. What bird today? Oh, there he is. What's up, buddy? out of this snapper. Are we just putting all the good meat in here? Yep. Or is that just red sour? Okay. Nope. Let's sort it out after. Have you ever gotten throats out of one before? No, not really. No. This, let me show you something. See this little bone right here? Mm -hmm. You want to get under that. Because if you just try to cut through that, you can't get, can't get through right there. It helps to have a serrated knife, but now that throat's like separated from the top. Yeah. When you come around in here. and everything I'd be like oh yeah you know, I'd love to have good red day. snapper throat but if I yeah how far off you go uh we're 65 60. miles that's the same way we did about the same as that that's, that's great yep it's been slow last week I heard um we went out on the fourth too huh? and the sharks were brutal. that's what I've heard too they've been brutal yeah they were just brutal they weren't as bad today we got sharks a few times 
Lost some nice fish and lost some tackle. Yeah. Tend to catch in at least half a limit in the day? The fourth? No. Oh, dang. Well, I would have if we wouldn't have thrown shit back early on. Too much meat's in there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So you, you can eat all this? this all is, uh, that. Yep. Throw it on the grill, throw it in the oven. You can. Last time, when a little one that was a little bit smaller, took a fork, took all the scales off, clipped all the fins off, cut it in half, and deep fried it. Huh. Wow. Seasoned it and deep fried it. Super good. It's not like regular. It's not like regular fish. <laughs> my, my mother, like, again, she's like the only one that actually like eats fish. But if I bring yeah. home something weird, she freaks out. <laughs> so you can get what you need from here, right? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, as long as I can see the gonads, yeah, that's yeah. all good. And the, it stays intact, so... Yeah. One time I grilled them, and like, I don't know if you heard me on the boat, we grilled them, and then let them cool, and then pulled all the meat off of it, and it was like crab meat almost, but a little bit denser, huh. and we, uh... Made crab cakes out of them. It was yummy. Give you a little bit here. Yeah, definitely won't try different uh, recipes after this. It's starting to rain. Because I know, I don't know many people that keep the throat, but that definitely looks good. No, it's very good. It's on these bigger ones you can. The smaller ones are kind of yeah. not worth it. <laughs> If you can, maybe um, with like one of the ones that like you think would be reasonable, and you don't mind like doing the extra effort, I guess. Like I'll, I'll try one of the the, those, the uh, collars. Yeah, and I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it is, or or may I, I'll just ask you okay. and say like you think this is good the way that I'm doing it. <laughs> how do you gonna cook it? You think? Oh uh, well. You have a grill? Me and my mother figured things out, <laughs> but um. I mean, if but you got a grill, deep fryer. Deep fr if you got a deep fryer, you'll want to, uh, like I said, take a, just take a fork and you can Do get. You smoke it or is that not a thing? Smoke uh, taller? The, yeah. Yeah, we smoke them too and make fish dip out of them. Yeah, cause there's a guy. Uh, I'll send you him on Blackbird. You, you, you take you take his fish to him and uh, and he'll just, he'll just throw it right in this. He's got a giant smoker and things like six feet across. And it's crazy. Um and. Uh, at the bait and tackle shop, the, the boat ramp right on Blackburn. Oh, really? Yeah, his name's Earl. Yeah, I don't. I, I, gotta, I gotta ask if he's still there. I, I, I think he. There's a chance he might have left recently, but he's been there ever since I came down to Florida. That's pretty cool that, that he'll guy. do that. Probably charging a small fee. He's like a charging a million dollars. Right. Throw fish in there. I and mean, if he's already got it fired up, a little extra money for him and easier yeah. for you. He's got amazing chicken rips, so probably like <laughs> probably one of the best. It's raining pretty good out there. I'm not really. I can't even tell if it's getting rained on us. <laughs> Barely is getting rained on us, but out there it's in the open. It's getting rained on a little bit. This GoPro is not all that waterproof in the in this case. may have to end the cooking or cleaning part of this video. <laughs> this GoPro can't get wet. Oh, it can. It's not in a protective case. I want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. If you haven't clicked that like button, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would be greatly appreciative if you did. We have plenty of more videos coming, lots of live action on the way.